this Sunday morning was overshadowed by rather gloomy and downcast thoughts. Yet I couldn't pinpoint a distinct reason for my emotional state, which frustrated me even more because of the uncertainty it created. Regardless, this time I didn't let myself stay in this sucky place and took myself straight out to London's eclectic street. The beginning seemed rocky. My initial plans didn't work out due to a transport outage, hence why, in the end, I settled for Little Venice, an area I have heard of but never looked more into. To commence my journey, I treated myself to a wonderful mug of coffee. Whilst I do not advocate for the company seen in the clip, something about their coffee was well needed on this day, hence why I practiced self-kindness and allowed myself to treat. After all, progress over perfection, right? The trip continued with a very pleasurable experience in the Bakerloo line which I've rarely taken since coming to London. What I discovered was the fact that the Bakerloo line is actually much more spacious than other underground lines. As such, my journey was very comfortable and made me aware that there are other lines that just my default choice, the Piccadilly line. With regards to the main takeaways of the trip, I want to revisit the theme of comfort zones. Why? Well, because in the past, I think I would have let my negative thought spiral get the better of me and wallow in them rather than take action to explore or do something new in London. Whilst my adventure did not lead to the heavens open up and the resolution being ejaculated from the sky, I felt proud at the end of the day for pushing myself and doing something productive with my day. This helped to soothe some of the anxiety-riddled thoughts of mine at the beginning of waking up. Overall, this video is your sign to practice kindness always, and especially on your hard days. Thank you for watching. The world needs more of your energy.